Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning and happy new year to you. I'm so glad that you and I get to begin this brand new year together right here this morning with our weekly or daily devotionals. Um, when you think about a new year, you think about a fresh start and think about a new beginning. And as is customary in our culture, a new year means new resolutions, new goals and plans for the year, things that people want to achieve. Uh, things that we want to do and accomplish uh, or even do away with. Um, and as I am thinking about this new year, I think about the fact that a new year presents itself with an opportunity for a new perspective. And I believe that is the same in Christ Jesus, that with each passing year that we have on the earth, it's an opportunity for us to gain a new perspective about Christ, a new expect perspective about our relationship with God, and ultimately for us to go deeper in the Lord. So this morning, I just want to share with you from Psalms chapter 16. And the main verse of focus is uh, Psalm 16 verse 5. And it says this, it says, Lord, you are my portion and my cup of blessing. You hold my future. You know, as I was thinking about 2022 i know that we're in this really uh weird place of conflict because we are still in a pandemic and uh right now you know we're seeing cases rise and there's so many things that are being affected right now but one thing that i had to remind myself is that you know over this past two years we have really learned or I hope we understand more than ever before that life is filled with uncertainties. Um, the Bible tells us in James that, you know, no one knows if tomorrow is promised for them. But one thing that I know that we can be certain about is God and the fact that God is steadfast, God is faithful. And the Bible says God Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And that is an, a great encouragement to us to know that we can count on God, that when other things in our lives are not certain, God is certain. And as I read Psalm 16, verse 5, it says, Lord, you are my portion. And that word portion, meaning that, Lord, you are my inheritance. God, you are my gift. God, you are mine. And we get to enjoy this type of possession, or rather I should say this inheritance of fellowship and relationship with God through Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on Calvary. And it's so encouraging to know that maybe last year you lost a lot of things. Maybe you lost people. Maybe you lost opportunity, positions, jobs, finances, maybe even your health change. But one thing that's never going to change is the fact that God is within us and God is ours through Jesus Christ. We have entered into eternal covenant with God the Father and we are now his possessions. It goes on to say in that same scripture that, Lord, you are my portion and my cup of blessing. I don't know about you, but I want to be blessed and God is the cup of our blessing we can count on God to bless us we can count on God to pour out his love for us because the Bible tells us in Romans 8 that for those who walk according to the Spirit the Bible says that God will not withhold not one good thing from us because he's a good father he's steadfast um, Jesus talks about the fact that God knows our needs. God knows that we have things that we need on a daily basis, but he tells us to look up at the sparrows and how they're taken care of and look at the lilies in the field, how they toil so beautifully. And the fact that God is aware of their needs and God is taking care of them. So God will take care of us. And you know, the way in which God will take care of us is in us putting God first. You know, this will never change because God is steadfast and his ways are steadfast. And 
that's a good thing because we can count on God to be who he says he is and to do what he says he's going to do. So this new year, I want to, by God's grace, encourage us to change our perspective. Um, as we are planning for the year, as we are making decisions about how we want to live in this year and what things we want to do, I want to challenge us to recognize that no matter the uncertainty that we may face in this year, one thing is certain, and that is that God is our portion. Um, we belong to God through Jesus Christ. And so knowing that, we know that no matter what may come our way, God is going to be there for us. I love how this scripture ends. It says in verse 5 of Psalm 16, Lord, you are my portion and my cup of blessing. You hold my future. God holds our future and we can rest on that in hard places, in good places, in weird in between places where we don't really know what's going on. But I want to to encourage us to remember Psalm 16, 5 that says God holds our future. And because God holds our future and because we know he's faithful, he's steadfast, he loves us with an everlasting love, he's holy, he's righteous, he's just, we can expect good things from God. We can expect that in this year, 2022, because God holds our future, his purpose for our lives be accomplished. So I want to encourage us to resolve this year to align with God, to resolve this year to be obedient to the word of God and everything that God is asking us to do personally in our lives, in our relationships, in our families, because God holds our future. I love the scripture that says uh, that comes after it says the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. And what is that inheritance? That inheritance is Christ Jesus. That inheritance is the hope of eternal life forever being in the presence of God. And, and we get to enjoy that right now. So as you are beginning your 2022, I want to remind you that the Lord is your portion. The Lord is my portion. And that should be our confidence as we pass through this year to know that God is with us. He will not forsake us. He will not leave us. The scripture goes on to say, and God is our cup of blessing. We can count on God's blessings in our lives, in small ways, in big ways, in medium ways. Oftentimes, we don't see it because we're so focused in on our problems that we miss how God is passing us through and strengthening us and guiding us and being a counsel unto us in those tough moments of life. And finally, God holds our future. Our future is not in our hands. Our future is not in the hands of the government. It's not in the hands of the seasons. It's not in the hands of the culture. It's in the hands of the sovereign and almighty God. And honestly, that is the very best place that our lives should be. And it's wonderful to know that no matter what comes my way, God has already seen it. He's gone ahead of me and he's preparing a place for me. He's preparing victory. He's preparing growth. He's preparing all these good and wonderful things. So I want to encourage us to change our perspective, to recognize that with each passing day, God is our portion. He's our cup of blessing and he holds our future. And knowing this, let's let this year be a year where more than ever before, we're going to go deeper in the Lord. We're going to go deeper in living out a life that represents Christ Jesus. We are going to go deeper in our fellowship and relationship with God because, hey, he holds our future. We're going to be okay. Everything is going to work out according to God's sovereign plan for our lives. And because we know God is a good God, we know that in all things, his goodness is going to be revealed and poured out upon us. So I hope this brings us to rejoice in this year. And I hope this challenges us to think about how we are going to plan for our year. And I hope it encourages us to put God at the center, knowing that he's our portion, he's a cup of our blessing, and he holds our future. God bless you and a happy new year to you.